What's up guys, my name is Daniel, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my helmet, full setup with Bluetooth and push to talk for $125, shipping included. Alright, let's get down to it. So. I've been getting a bunch of questions about my helmet. Every time I fly and I go live, everybody's asking me, where'd you get your helmet? Blah, 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 blah. All right, I got my helmet on eBay for $125, shipping included. Now, let me answer a few questions. It does have Bluetooth. Never had any issue with it. When I'm in flight, never had any connection problems, never had any disconnection problem, never had any battery problem, and never had any push to talk problem with the radio when I plug my radio. A few things I like about this helmet is super cheap. That's the number one I like the most. And it looks good to me. I think it looks good. Then it looks better than the one with the big earmuff. And again, 125 hours. You can't go wrong. It has two visors. This one goes inside the helmet. That's the one I use uh, all the time. There's a big one that comes here that has, um, it's a big transparent visor that I removed because I never use it and because I wanted to have my GoPro mounted on it. When it comes to the setup itself, I did add a couple things to it because it runs really big compared to what they say on the website. This was the smallest size. I was on the higher end of the size range and it was still feeling a little big on my head. Not too big, but a little big. So I added those earmuff padding that I bought on Amazon for I think like 10 bucks or so. I honestly didn't make any difference when it comes to the noise isolation, but it didn't make a difference on the fit of it. So now noise isolation, noise cancellation, it's good. I can still be making calls when I'm flying as long as I'm not going full throttle. No problem at all, but it's not like the 3M ear cups that you have uh, on when you build your own helmet. So, but it still works great. Never had any issue with it and it didn't bother me. I do like long flights of two hours. The, it's like, I don't have any issue with the problem of the motor when I'm going full throttle at all. Um, I did install a second mic on it so I could plug my GoPro. Uh, I routed through the foam inside. Again, never had an issue with it. It works perfectly. Uh, I have this little cord that comes out, which is gonna be your charging port. And uh, it's also gonna be your connector for the push to talk. Uh, Bluetooth, like I said, never had an issue. Push to talk works perfectly. And the battery. Battery, I've done like probably like four to five hours flights, you know, like couple flights back to back. And the battery has never died on me. So I never had an issue. I can't tell you how long it lasts just because I haven't got a chance to, to, to experience that. For $125, you can't really go wrong with that. Is it good quality? Good enough to keep me, you know, flying. Is it like best quality? I don't think so. Shipping took about three weeks to arrive. So I know some people get sketched out when they order from eBay and does it come from the USA. But again, I didn't really care. That's all I could afford at the time. And for about three years now, I've been having this helmet and I've had no wish to change it because it works just fine. So anyway, let's go for a quick close up right now, going around the helmet and stuff like that. Let's get it. So here we go guys, we're back in my room right now. I'm gonna show you a couple of things right now before I do a close up. So there's two cables that come with the helmet. The first one right here, that's your micro USB that is to charge your helmet that you plug onto the helmet. And then the second one we have is this one right here, which is gonna be your push to talk. This part right here will go on your radio. So I use the Baofeng radio right here that I bought on Amazon for 60 bucks. So you pretty much just open the port right here. You plug this in your radio up this way right here. Then you have two sides to the cable. This one right here is your push to talk that goes on the side of my helmet, which for me is gonna be on this side right here. So there's a piece of Velcro. I just put it right here and I have my push to talk right here that is accessible. And then this side right here, that goes right here where the little dangle comes out. This is the charging cable, but it's also the push to talk cable. So you plug this in and you hooked into your system. The good thing is when you plug with your system, with your radio, you still have your Bluetooth that is working properly without having any cut. Now let's move this out of the way and let's focus on what's happening right here. This cable right here is my second mic that I added that goes on the GoPro itself. So everything is routed through the helmet. This is the air vent. I just put some hot glue right here so I'm hit shrink to keep the cable sturdy it goes through the foam right here so I made a hole in the foam uh, basically you can just pull this out right here you pull it out and you have all the foam that comes out right here if I show you you can see some of the cable that goes inside I did add those earmuff right here that I got on Amazon so I just removed that piece of foam and I sew it by hand so you can see it's not a beautiful job but it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't move. It just allows me to have a helmet that is a little tighter to wear on my head since I told you it was uh, sizing a little big. Uh, and that's it, I just added this like, um, I forgot how it's called, this little mesh thingy that kind of stretches out to route my second microphone. So right here, so right here you have the switch and if I press and hold right here it will start, you see the lights can start blinking. 
the blue light. It's a Wacom Freecom product and it's all linked. The Bluetooth goes on and if you paired it already, it's gonna be paired with, pairing with your phone automatically. You press and hold again. It goes red, that means it's turning off. This is my extra Mac, the one I use the GoPro, that's why I have a dead cat on it. I just pretty much wired all the way here, put a zip tie and it's holding right here sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So yeah, that's it for the setup. This is the back, I have a couple stickers on it. Right here, a couple stickers that are falling apart. Anyway, that was it for the helmet video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to invite your friends, to invite your family, to invite your girlfriend. God, Jesus. <laughs> and also, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for this helmet when I reach 2,000 subscribers, and I'll be giving away a helmet of your choice when it comes to the color and the size. So again, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a, leave a comment on the section down below. Go ahead and check out my other videos. And don't forget to come back next week because I'll be posting my new video about my gear and all the cameras that I use uh, when I'm shooting all my videos. So if you're interested in that, just like I said, feel free to come back. I think I did everything. I did I said everything I had to say. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to stay bad. I was talking about noise cancelling. It's really good about noise cancelling because uh, if you do have a woman like this and she start like talking, <laughs> talking shit, uh, it, it cancel all the noise around it, so you cannot really hear her. So you have this protection for mm. the ones that have a relationship. <laughs> uh, if you go ahead and buy it, it's really efficient. <laughs>